This is my peppermint patch. As you can see, the bees are feeding just fine. They're having a good old time here. Where are you? You hiding in there? This thing's, there's bees all over, of all different size bees and, and honey or um, pollen gatherers and wasps, everything's in here. It's quite wonderful how nature uh, provides for itself. Yeah, I got quite a bit of, uh, this actually started off as one single stem that I, I found when I was hiking. And I brought it home and I planted it in here. And like three or four years later, I cannot, absolutely cannot control this. I have to chop, I've chopped this thing down once already this year. I cleaned it up in the spring. Then I cut it again in the spring. As you can see, this thing extends all the way back into there. So I cut it all the way back and it just keeps coming back. I mean, I have enough peppermint here to make peppermint tea probably for the rest of my life and this is every single year and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger it, it's incredible it's good stuff but it is extremely invasive this stuff is popping up in different parts of my yard now i'm starting to notice it so even if you just got it growing in one area this stuff can end up in other parts of your yard all right so yeah this is this peppermint that's the flower all right, you can see the flowers. This is wonderful stuff to make a tea. Sometimes I just come out here and chew peppermint leaves, you know, smoke my pipe and and just sit down, relax, and have some peppermint. All right, guys, just figured I'd show you my peppermint patch.